Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Budget Stacker. Today we got gold and silver. And the gold I got uh, this time is going to be of the size. I think I'm going to try and go through uh, for consistently if I can uh, in 2023. So I've decided on a certain size that's just right for me. If you're interested in seeing my new gold and silver and hearing about uh, the size I'm going to shoot for in gold, Stay tuned, because here we go. Well, all righty then. Um, we've got uh, these two packages. Uh, this one is heavier. I think it's actually the silver, believe it or not. Um, my gold purchases aren't that huge, <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and open this one up. I've already, you know, taken them out of the boxes. Um, that part's not that eventful, um, so I'm just going to cut this out of here. Let's see what we got here in the first package. Okay, I'll just pull that paperwork. Now, off camera. All right. Okay. So, here's what we have inside. Okay. So, as you see, I did get some constitutional silver, which has been pretty pricey. Um, but I, I, they had a sale. Um, and when I was looking at some of my old receipts just for this last year, it was actually the kind of the same price I was used to paying before. Uh, so I did pull the trigger on one more roll of dimes. Uh, we can see a Roosevelt right there and a Roosevelt right there. I'm hoping to find some Mercury's in there. I love Mercury's. Usually, uh, Atmex will throw a few in there. I mean, it's to their advantage really because, uh, they'll usually have a little less silver in them. Um, but I always kind of like, um, you know, getting these rolls with no specific type so that you can find some Mercury's in there. I can... Build up that particular tube for that tube roll. I'm not going to unwrap all these. I'll I'll check through them later. Um, I'm sure that uh, it is exactly as I expected. But do love constitutional, oh, aka junk silver. Um, and you know when there's a sale uh, these days with the premiums being so high, uh, the only way I'm really going to get these is when there is some sale. So that was cool. That worked out well. Um, there was uh, also some, I was trying to get in some silver by Christmas time for some additional gifts, but uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. So here is one that I got. I'm uh, just going to add them to the stack, of course. Now, Merry Christmas 2022. If I find somebody else I needed to give a gift to, I might give it to them at the last minute, but uh, I've already, you know, all, all my gifts are already sent um, out. So, yeah, not much I can do for there. that one. That's another one there, too. So that's cool. I was really hoping uh, for one particular person who I knew um, was a Star Wars fan. This is the 2022 uh, from Nayu. I always forget how to pronounce that. I even did a video on it. Sorry for that. Uh, for the island nation um i think they're um, part of museum this is a um, star wars grogu baby yoda uh brilliant uncirculated coin so didn't get it in time to uh get it out now let's take that out so we can get a little better look at it but um so it's just going to go into the stack i thought it was a cool design that, that, of course, is this side here saying $2. And then this, let's make sure I got it in focus there. That is the baby Yoda sitting down for a nice fine meal of um, delectable little things that look like they're alive. <laughs> so I, I don't have Disney Plus, so I haven't really got into all the new Star Wars stuff. I do love Star Wars, but... I uh, just didn't want to 
added yet another service and had some issues with Disney lately too. So I'll put that one down there. Okay, so the next one is the package that I have with the gold in it. If I could just take that off there. I can try that. Oh, I'll just try cutting it from here. So I'll just slice and dice into that one. As you can kind of see, these are from Atmex. They had some, some good uh, deals and really good selection is one of the reasons I go. Let me take it off camera to get that paper off of here. All right. Okay, I'm going to save the gold for last. <laughs> so, um, Silver Eagles, extremely expensive, but they did have a sale, still expensive. Um, but I did want to see this is a random year. Let's see, what year did I get? Oh, cool. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, just hold it by the edges. Okay. It was a random year. Uh, that's a 2007. It was a, a special deal. And I don't really have a 2007. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Nice luster. Of course, you know, it's American Silver Eagle. So they have pretty good resale value. Whenever you can get them on sale, that's a good thing. Uh, normally, you know, they're just too expensive. So I don't normally haven't gone for these in a long time. Okay. This one, yeah, 2000. Make sure I'm reading it right. Yeah, 2007. Uh, they sent another one, which is a 2022. Um, I won't bother bagging that. Now we've seen plenty of those, but I'm happy that one of them, it was a random year uh, special, one of them, 2007. So that is cool. I don't think I have, I'll have to check. Maybe I do, uh, but I didn't think I had one, but okay. This is my most expensive purchase of, of the month. It is a 2022 Australian one quarter ounce kangaroo brilliant uncirculated as it should be brand new yeah it does come in a capsule oh yeah you can feel the weight there oh is that jiggling it's a little bit of a rattler there let me make sure i can have a little trouble making sure i've got things in focus so that is a beautiful coin. Not bad. And it's got, of course, the queen on the other side. Not too shabby. Okay. So one of the reasons I've, um, one of the things I'm, I've been thinking about, that is a little rattler. That's, I mean, this is very fine gold, so it's, being up the sides, I suppose, but uh, not much, just a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of heavy stuff with these anyway. But um, one reason I did get this particular one in the quarter ounce side is size is because I'm really thinking about um, this being my go-to size. Um, tenth of an ounce uh, is much more affordable, but uh, you get a little more bang for your buck. Obviously, the higher you go quarter ounce um, my premium percentage is lower half ounce of course it is lower and of course you know one ounce is ideal um, but I can't afford uh, that one shot I, I can sneak in I think a quarter ounce of gold every month I, I'm hoping um, if everything stays stable <laughs> I think I can and still get some silver so that's going to be what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get more gold this year. And um, I did have a goal for last year. I missed it just by a little bit um, on, on gold. Uh, I overshot silver uh, by a little bit. So I was happy on one side and kind of sad on the other side. But I think I really like to see if I can get more gold in my stack um, to make it a more well-rounded stack. Still going to get silver, of course. 
um, and tumble my silver down too. Uh, you know, both goofy things. Um, not goofy, but uh, you know, kind of collector bullion type coins every now and then just for fun. Uh, and then probably not um, American Silver Eagles, but other kinds of tier one uh, bullion for silver. So definitely I'm um, going to keep stacking silver, but I am going to try with a quarter ounce because with the 10th ounce, you can't even feel it. Um, I don't know why that bugs me, <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I really like to have that, that little more heftier feel of gold. This is, um, compacted wealth. Uh, I would take quite a bit of these silver coins to equal this small amount of gold. So I think that's going to be the size I'm going to try and shoot for it. And I may not be able to do it, um, We'll see. Uh, we're heading into some rough economic times. Um, my particular work uh, is looking better than initially I thought, uh, but uh, you never know. So, but that's kind of one of the reasons I stack gold and silver, a little financial insurance. I'll probably go over that in some future video. But anyway, that's my latest purchases. Uh, my new gold um, quarter ounce, which will be my new goal. Um, always appreciate it if you do like our videos uh if you give us a, a thumbs up give me a thumbs up it's just me <laughs> and uh i appreciate that uh if you can subscribe love to have you as a subscriber we'll try to give you new content of new things i'm getting and different ideas and different observations about stacking so if you're um inclined to uh do that it really does encourage us some um, youtubers particularly for those thumbs up love to hear your comments great community out there. Everybody seems to share in the comments. So definitely would suggest uh, that you do check out the comments because uh, there's a lot of people who share a lot of great information on there. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Take care. Hope it's a great evening, dusk, morning, whatever it happens to be for you. I do appreciate you watching and God bless and take care.